Good morning, everybody. This is December the 26th, and uh, as you know, uh, most of you already know, we got robbed at our house on December the 21st. So that's 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th. So I know it's Christmas and people are probably on vacation, but this is day five, and uh, we've not heard anything from the Orange County Sheriff's Department. Nobody's called us and asked us one question. Um, since we got robbed and uh, uh, you know we made out the report we took the extra list of stuff up to the Orange County Sheriff's Office with pictures of the guy that robbed the house and uh, hopefully they're working on it but they haven't indicated to us that they're doing anything but anyway I want to walk you through it I'm going to show you step by step through the house uh, from the front door around and down the driveway to the back of the house in the back back door just going to show you the exact route that he did he, he did it um, and uh, see if it uh, jogs your memory anything about who might who this might be and also I'm going to post the serial numbers of the laptop and the two tablets that got stolen and uh, see if you can if anyone tries to sell you one, you can look at the serial number and see if that's the serial number and uh, appreciate it. But here we go. Let's just go. I'm going to walk you through it. I just want to talk to you again about this burglar at my house. I want to go through it with you. But anyway, I'm going to show you exactly what happened. First off, this is our driveway. Uh, a, a dark colored black I think it's a black GMC pulled up in this driveway there was no vehicles here and parked right here he walks he goes right like this he comes over here and he knocks on the door knock 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 nobody answers so he runs around here he don't run he's walking and then at this point I lose him he comes through here my truck's not here because I'm not here comes through here you can see where the sheriff's department got fingerprints um, he walked right through here and he came right to this door and the door was locked and it also had a pin at the top but he still managed to get it open you can see the remnants of the fingerprint dust and uh, fingerprint dust there and there was a pin in the door right there and he broke that so now we're doing something else to lock it better but uh, and then also there's a camera right there so he he comes right here and he looks over at the Christmas tree at the presents and he don't really go after those I think there's just too much and too big the packages are too big so then he comes right through here and he goes down the hallway and then he comes in here in the room and he tears the bedroom apart, turns it upside down, pulls all the drawers out of here. Uh, we had a little lock box underneath the bed, he got that. Uh, we had uh, bags of changing stuff in here I'm not going to tell you exactly what all we had because we're working with the sheriff's department trying to get stuff back but uh, you know, I had a piggy bank here um, I had a tip jar here with about $400 worth of change in it uh, and the change it was probably seven, dollars $800 worth of change and uh, oh yeah uh, the tablet that was sent here a you know, Samsung tablet uh, it was sitting on top of this charging he took that uh, all this stuff that's the thing he went through some stuff he went through all the boxes of my wife's jewelry and stuff and left a lot of the boxes and uh, took the stuff out of it um, broke the lid off that jewelry box he went in here, I had my pain pills and stuff with prescriptions with my name on it. Took that. Then he comes back out here. And then he comes right here. 
and he stands right here and he waits but while he's waiting let me see if I can get this to cooperate with me but anyway he comes up here and he unlatches this latch right here like that and unlocks he does this to, to five of the windows in the house so we had a feeling that he's going was going to try to come back the next day or something, but anyway, uh, he, they didn't. So anyway, <clears throat> he stands right here and he waits for his ride. When his ride comes, he don't go out the front door that I can tell, uh, because I don't know if when my daughter put the key in the door to open it, she didn't check to see if it was locked or not. I know they didn't go out the front door. Let me show you why. So he, come, he comes back out here. He's had to come back out here. He did not go out the front door. And he came back around here. Going out this way. And then he just let that. Let, he didn't latch. The, the gate wasn't latched. He just left it. And then come down through here. And when he got right here. That camera took his picture right here. He had a backpack on and hit it out to the car. I think they just pulled up out in the street. I don't think they, uh, I don't think that they pulled back in the driveway the second time and, uh, and took off down the street. So if you have any information about this, I got lots of pictures of the guy, got pictures of the car, I'd appreciate it if you would uh, forward the information on to Detective Mike Young at the Orange County Sheriff's Office and uh, see if we can't catch this guy.